Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. So in today's tiny house video, we're going to be framing up the front door. So this is a 32 inch opening, which is smaller than most front door openings, and I found that out a little bit too late. But it is possible to get a 28 inch door, and that's what we're going to do. So after the door is framed, I also want to put a window above the door to allow ventilation upstairs. So let's get started building this frame. So the door that we'll be using is 28 inches by 80 inches. So I'm gonna make uh, a cut here on a treated board because any wood that is touching the concrete needs to have been treated. So I'm gonna go with an 82 inch board here. Now for the header, I'm going to cut two boards at 29 and 3 fourths inches because that is going to be the distance between the two uh, jack studs. So now I'm going to do something that's probably frowned upon, and that is only use two 2x4s two as my uh, header, because when two are together, you're about a half inch short of the width of a board. So you're supposed to put some OSB board between these, but I don't have any, so we're just going to make do with this. Not sure how well this step is going to turn out, but we're supposed to something called toenail into uh, the header up here, and it's uh, kind of like this. Let's see if I can get it started here. I think I'm going to push this whole thing against this. Maybe. This right here is where your nail gun would come in handy. If you had one of those. You'll get a kick out of this. Look what I did. Some pretty sad measurements for my <laughs> header. So let's recut this, adding that three inches back in. So the new and improved measurements are 32 and 3 fourths inch. All right, so I realized that that piece was uh, too short, so I cut another uh, header board and then reattached it to my treated side pieces, which are Jake studs. <clears throat> so now, I want to install my window above this, which is gonna be 30 inches by 36 inches. So what I'm gonna do is add uh, these little boards here, and then there will be another board up here on top. So that kind of just gives me the area I need, um, the boost, so that my window can sit up here. And then I've got another header board that will go at the very top above the window. And that should make this door and window framing complete. But it's too dark tonight to continue, so uh, I'll have to uh, try again tomorrow. All right, it's been a couple of days and I've slept several hours, so I hope my thoughts are a little bit more connected. So, um, here's what's going to happen now. I went back to um, Lowe's and bought a, a new window. The other one I had was uh, smaller. And so this time I think it's going to work better because more ventilation whenever it's open. Anyway, 
So here is the math that I've done. 132 and 3 fourths inch total distance. So my top header here, the very top, will be uh, three and a half inch. So then a 38 inch rough opening for the window. Then I'm going to put uh, just a board down for the bottom of the window. And then on top of that, or under that, will be um, cripple studs. And they need to be four inches. Then I uh, have the second header, which is on top of the door. And then our 85 and 3 fourths inch, um, oh no, sorry, the 82 inch door opening itself. So, what we need to do now is get our cripple studs cut. And then the window itself is 24 inch um, opening. So, need to um, put our Jake studs, uh, yeah, Jake studs, yeah, on the um, sides. Maybe they're jack studs. Let's go with jack studs. So here's what I was thinking. Put these cripple studs in here, and then one of these boards on top of that, and that should give us the height we need to put the window on here. I've found that with traditional hammer and nail, it's not exactly easy to get uh, boards like this in. So I'm kind of uh, just trying to start a little bit here. And uh, then from that, trying to nail it in here. <laughs> Not very easy. Okay, I got all those uh, cripple studs in and then the, uh, uh, the bottom plate for the window. So next, I'm going to have to cut the uh, 38 inch, uh, I guess, Jake studs, Jack studs, <laughs> for the uh, edge of the window here. Okay, here is what I'm up to. I've got these uh, boards here, which are 38 inch, and then I've got my header up here. Uh, it will go here. So basically this makes our window opening of 38 inches. And so then uh, we need to put in our jack studs. <laughs> I've gotten that wrong every time. Uh, in here because we got Roughly 29 and a half, and it's got to be down to uh, a 24 inch opening. So we'll put uh, boards in here to uh, bring that down. Sorry about the poor lighting. So I just cut two more 38 inch boards, and I've got them um, two and a half inches away from the side, which gives me a distance of 24 inches because the rough opening for this window is 24. So I'm gonna try and hammer these into the right spot and we'll get this wall up. This is kind of cool. These decking boards are exactly the size that I need to uh, make this gap to the right uh, 24 inches. So I'm just able to push against it here and it's working out. Something like that. Well, that took forever, but it's finally done. Got the header board, the uh, studs that make up the 24 by 38 opening for the window. Have a couple of uh, cripple studs in there with another header for the door. And then the, uh, the uh, jack studs for the door. So, time to get this thing set up. Not exactly sure how nice this is gonna work, but we'll try.
And there we have it. A door and window is now complete. So basically the whole front wall is now done. Well, this is exciting. I'm sure I made lots of mistakes, but um, I like it. Um, now one thing I have noticed is that the top of the door is the uh, 30 inches like we wanted it to be, but the bottom is not. So I may have to do some uh, unique door shaping. Kind of sad, but I think that had to do with the uh, blocks that were laid. Anyway, thanks for watching this tiny house video. Um, in the next one, we're going to be getting one of these side walls on with the window as well. So look forward to that. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House, and I will see you next time. Bye. And it looks like we're going to need a board.